Business is full of ups and downs, so it helps to have a flexible way to pay. Try Business Essentials from O2 Business, the most flexible business tariff around. Hey guys, Basil here with BTEC, and this is the Alcatel Idol 4S. The 4S has a pretty impressive spec sheet, Quad HD display, but a kind of invertible UI of sorts. You've also got front firing speakers, and that's in spite of what will likely be a very, very competitive price, given the fact that's pretty much Alcatel's legacy. The design on this is really, really impressive though, just on in-hand feel. Um, it's, like I said, got really well hidden front firing speakers. Um, one above and one below that display. 5.5 inches quad HD resolution. Um, you've also got an eight megapixel front camera, 16 megapixel rear camera. The bump on it and the general styling is very reminiscent, very reminiscent of the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, which I'll bring into frame for you. You can see right there. But in the same breath, if you're getting this at a really great price, the specs do suggest it's gonna be a worthwhile um, copycat if there ever was one. Now, jumping out of the UI, uh, you can see it runs with Android. It's gonna launch with Android Marshmallow, customized user interface to enable that flipping feature. You've also got an applications tray that you can swipe through. It's horizontally, sorry, vertically scrolling, so nice and stock. Um, a very, very bright screen. It's kind of throwing our camera off a little bit, so I'll drop it a little bit. Um, and boom me up. That's all in reference to the front firing speakers. You've also got a VR headset that this supports as well. Um, and and it's basically just gonna enable Google Cardboard type experiences. More and more people are doing this. So three gig of RAM on board. It's a Snapdragon 8, six, sorry, 652 processor. Um, hopefully should perform well. Haven't used that chipset in the past. Looking forward to getting it in. How's the camera UI fare? Opening it up, you can see it's a very, very similar UI to what Huawei has on theirs. You've got this shutter speed, ISO control, um, and indeed manual focus too. Brilliant. So instantly you'll be able to get the very best from that 16 megapixel rear snapper. I'm generally impressed by what I see and feel in hand. It is a big device though, so if you think it's a bit too big for you, want something a bit smaller, check out our video with the Idol 4, um, which is also announced MWC 2016. Any questions, fire them in the comment section below. Like the video, click like, like the channel, subscribe to BTEC. It's how you're going to stay on top of everything we do. Thanks for watching.